Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about least upper bound and greatest lower bound. You know, previous classes we clearly discussed about Hussey diagrams. Please watch the class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so what is meant by least upper bound? The other name for this is we call it as supremum or join. You call with any of these names, least upper bound, supremum or join. So the definition, it is not going to understand you better. With example, you will you, get clarity about the definition. Let's take a poset. S comma R. S means set of elements. R means relation. If it is a poset, you can construct the Hasse diagrams. Yes, that is what we discussed in our previous classes. So from the poset, let A subset of S means you take some elements in A, those elements should be subset of S. So on these elements, on these elements, we are going to identify least upper bound for this set of elements. A, for this subset of elements on A. So when we call it as so, if you want to find the least upper bound, Let's see, x belongs to S means take an element that belongs to x uh, belongs to set S. We call x as least upper bound. When we call it as least upper bound, if it satisfies, we if you take an element x that belongs to S, we call it as least upper bound. When we are going to call it as least upper bound, if if it has to satisfy two conditions. What's the first condition? If for all y belongs to A, means you take all the elements that belongs to A, it has to satisfy y should form a relationship with x. Those elements we call it as upper bound elements. Like that we are having so many elements. Among those, what is the second step? Among all x's, take the least one. The least one we call it as a least upper bound. With example, you will get clarity. Just remember this uh, definition. Now, let us take an example. S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. This is the set of elements. On this set, we are having a relationship divided by. This is a poset. So, we are taking a poset. On this poset, we are constructing a Hussey diagram. This is our Hussey diagram. So now let's take a least upper bound of 2 comma 3 means we are taking a subset of elements. What's the subset of elements 2 comma 3? For these elements, you need to identify least upper bound. So what is the least upper bound for this two elements 2 comma 3 is 6. Why we call it as a 6 as the least upper bound. So what's our definition says? You take any element in this set yes. You can take 6, you can take 18, you can take 2, you can take 3, you can take 1, you can take 19, any element. If you take an element from this S, it has to satisfy for all Y belongs to A. What is our set A? 2 comma 3. For all Y belongs to A, it has to satisfy this relation Y relates X. If it satisfies, we call it as upper bound. Let us take the element 6. Yes, 2 forming relationship with 6 because 2 divide 6. 3 forming relationship with 6 because 3 divide 6. For all elements that belongs in the set A, it has to form the relationship with X. You call it as upper bound. Similarly, 18 is also one more element. 2 forming relationship with 18 because 2 divides 18. 3 forming relationship with 18 because 3 divides 18. So, 2 comma 3, what is the next element? 18 is also one more upper bound. So, we are having multiple upper bounds. Among these, among all x's, take the least one. Which one is the least one? 6 is the least one. That is what we call it as least upper bound. Least upper bound of 2 comma 3 is equal to 6. Let us take one more element. Is 9 upper bound for 2 comma 3? Take 2 comma 3. 2, is it forming relationship with 9? No, because 2 does not divide 9. 3, is it forming relationship with 9? Yes, 3 divides 9. 
for all vice belongs to a for all elements it has to form the relation then only we consider it as a upper bound among all those upper bounds you have to find the least one that is what least upper bound we do some more examples least upper bound of 1 comma 2 see this is the point it is very important to understand 1 comma 2 you take all the elements in the s yes. you take 2 1 is forming a relationship with 2 2 is forming a relationship with 2 because this is a poset it is reflexive property means 2 forms a relationship with 2 so we need to consider that also 2 relates to cause poset so among this 1 comma 2 what is the upper bound for 1 comma 2 2 is upper bound for 1 comma 2 and 6 is the upper bound for 1 comma 2 and 18 is the upper bound for 1 comma 2 because 1 divides 6 2 divides 6 1 divides 18 2 divides 18 among all those which one is the least 2 is the least so least upper bound for 1 comma 2 is equal to 2 this is very very important to understand now next example least upper bound of 2 comma 9 see 2 9 you take element 6, 2 divide 6, but 9 does not divide 6. So, 6 is not the upper bound for 2 comma 9. You take 18, 2 divides 18, 9 divides 18. So, this is the least upper bound for 2 comma 9, which is 18. So, least upper bound for 2 comma 9 is equal to 18. We take one more example for better practice. This is very important example. Let's take this uh, directly. We have provided the Hasse diagram A, B, C, D, E, F. This is the Hasse diagram. Least upper bound for D, comma E. So D is forming relationship with F. E is forming relationship with F. So D, comma E. F is the least upper bound. Now let's take the next one. Least upper bound of B, comma C. So, this is the importance. B comma C, B forming relationship with D and C forming relationship with D. So, it is upper bound. D, B forming relationship with E and C forming relationship with E. E also upper bound. F is also forming relationship with C and B. D, E, F. Can you say D, E as upper bounds? D, E. Because one step above b comma c no least upper bound means you should have only one value two values are not considered as least upper bound because both the values are one step above on the same level you cannot say which one is the least one so that's why for b comma c we did not have a least upper bound it is not considered as a least upper bound d comma e is not considered as a least upper bound this is very very important to understand so now we are going to understand greatest lower bound so greatest lower bound or simply we call it as meet or infimum we can call with any of these names so the same definition is very difficult take a poset s comma r and let a subset of s we are taking a subset of elements for that for those elements we need to identify the greatest lower bound so x belongs to s we call x as greatest lower bound when we are going to call it as greatest lower bound if for all y belongs to a take the elements that present in a for all y you have to satisfy x relates y in the least upper bound y relates x this is exactly opposite x relates y you are having so many lower bounds among those you have to pick the greatest one we call it as greatest lower bound so let's take the example the same example this is the same high c diagram which we used above greatest lower bound of 6 comma 9 6 and 9 so you take the element uh, 3 3 is forming relationship with 6 3 is forming relationship with 9 1 is forming relationship with 6 1 is forming relationship with 9 among those which one is the greatest 3 is the greatest so that's why 3 is the greatest lower bound for 6 comma 9 
Similarly, let's take greatest lower bound for 2 comma 3, 2 and 3. Which one is uh, the greatest lower bound? Means you have to check the below elements, 2, 3, which is forming relationship with 1. Below this, we don't have any other elements. So, 1 is the greatest lower bound for 2 comma 3. Similarly, greatest lower bound for 1 comma 2, 1 comma 2. 1 is forming relationship with 1. 1 is forming relationship with 2. So, 1 is the least upper bound, for, uh, greatest lower bound for 1 comma 2. So, this is how we find the greatest lower bound and least upper bound. Hope you understand these examples. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.